1986 when there was a big devaluation and half of the, the student body here, I had the opportunity to have a scholarship. And thanks to that scholarship, I am the well-rounded person that I believe I am. I have culture, I have qualities. Uh, from this American school, I, everything was here. I remember how I cried when there was a, a chance that I would have not been able to be here. And it was very important for me to be able to have the opportunity. I was very involved in sports. There's other schools that don't have this opportunity. I was able to be in, in the Honor Society, in, in all these clubs that the ASF offers. We, the community, we, the ASF people, we, the students, we, the parents, we, the alumni, are who give back and the opportunity. It doesn't matter how much you give. You can be, give 100 pesos, but the important is that through this 100 pesos, you're helping someone have an education, you're helping someone succeed in life. I'd like to welcome you to the new Jenkins Wellness Center here at ASF. I'd like to thank everybody who has participated in giving to this project. We have a need for new cardio equipment. As you can see in the background, we have cardio equipment, but it is somewhat outdated. Well, the machines that we have, they're, they, they work, but they, they're very outdated. And a new machine could definitely help us get a, a better performance and help us get to our max, uh, to a peak fitness, which we're trying to achieve. That way, our, our team could stay at the max. We could train, we can do our cardio, we can train to our maximum, and we can try and be champions again. Because we live in, in a city like Mexico City, sometimes uh, we are unable to train outside, not very often, of course. But if we could train inside to an to a extended level like we can do outside, it would be really great. So we could train every day. I am asking you to participate in the annual giving program and donate so that we may upgrade our cardio equipment. Grand Piano in the Performing Arts Center would be very important to the students um, for many reasons. Um, we have a lot of piano players here at ASF and we have uh, no place for them to practice. Uh, there's not a class uh, for them to participate in. I started on a small academy in Mexico playing the piano and when we practiced the piano in that school we t like played on a small piano but when we had our concert, we played in a grand piano. One feeling I have that was really awesome, it's like an awesome experience. Um, I was in a concert and they gave me a piece that's called uh, Dream of a Forgotten Child, and I had to play on the grand piano. And when I started playing, my parents started crying. And I was like so proud of myself that I could like express my own feelings through the piece and like give it to the audience. Um, on the professional level, we have many concerts uh, that are going to be programmed in the Fine Arts Center and the expectation is that there is a grand piano uh, for those professional musicians who come from the outside to perform here. And having grand piano, I feel, would, would help them and help others to know that we should have piano here and allow the students to study piano. And I have the privilege of looking out the window every day and seeing kids enjoying their recess time. And one of our dreams is to make sure that this turtle patio is more child friendly. We're looking into the idea of putting in a, of, of a nice soft floor for them to be able to play on the floor, to be able to enjoy the blocks, to be able to create. The surface that we have right now is a little bit rough. It's, it's fine for passageways, but it's not conducive to playing and to creating and comfort comfortly for the kids. The floor surface that we're considering is the caucho. It's a, a recycled rubber material that's child-friendly. It's nice and cushy where the kids can build. The reason why we're asking for new blocks is because the blocks that we have are not the correct ones for the kids. As you can see, they are not the easiest things for the kids to actually pick up and hold, and they're pretty heavy. So actually the blocks that we're asking for are hollow blocks, and those are blocks that are much lighter, and the kids can actually stick their hands through and carry them safely, and they also have rounded corners. These corners that we have are very sharp, and 
they're kind of splintery. So the kids definitely have a little bit of a problem when it comes to carrying them and putting them safely in a, in a safe space in the, in the classroom. The importance of blocks is that it does a lot more than give kids a chance to play. It helps them in math, it helps them in language arts, it helps them in social emotional areas. Technology is opening so many doors for students today. They have immediate access to information that they can get um, just with the touch of a finger. And in lower school we have, for some of the years, Bring Your Own Device program where the students that have their devices can bring them. I really like bringing iPads to school and electronic stuff because it's more fun and more interesting and I just like writing on paper. So with the iPads it's not just the educational games that are used. Really the iPad's an important tool. When the students are writing and they need a dictionary, the dictionary's there. But unfortunately not all students have devices and we want to make this access to technology available for everybody. And with that this project is to have devices that the students would have that they could share and work together and not just students that have their devices but also students that don't have permission to bring devices to school. We are very excited about the prospect of having a greenhouse here on campus. We have many curricular ties that can be made with this project. For example, science is an obvious one, uh, cloning projects, experiments, and soil samples are things we already do in the curriculum We could be greatly enhanced with this resource. Hi, we are eighth graders and as a middle school community, we would like to propose a greenhouse made of plastic or glass. In this greenhouse, we could put like plant vegetables, flowers, or fruits. In this greenhouse, we could focus on a lot of topics of school, for example, painting still lives for art, studying plants for science, inspiring for poetry, and a lot of other things. It would be a nice spot where my art students can come and draw still lives, draw living tomatoes, draw anything from nature. Being an NYP school, this is a way to integrate nature into every discipline. If nature created humans, then why do humans destroy nature? Let's grow things instead. I would like to ask for your support uh, in order to push our environmental education program here in all the school. And so I think that one of the solutions that we would like um, for our community and our program to improve is to have special containers with different colors, with a, a different design, and that people can easily differentiate. This is a recycling container, not a trash can. If ASF had bigger, more, and better bins at school, then students, teachers, and the whole community will be able to know where to put their trash and recycle their trash. I think that it's important that the children understand where everything goes. It's very nice to see all these parents coming up, separating their, their trash, and then at the end what happens to that trash because we don't have a certain place to put it, it gets together, mixed up, and then all that work, what was the point? So now this is going to take it to another step, another level for the students. The next step is that we really need to have a recycling center where all of this is uh, collected and kept separated. So with your support, our community is going to be um, supported uh, with your actions. They're going to see that uh, we really care for the environment, we really care for what we do with our products, we're going to learn to be more responsible and hopefully better citizens. Thank you.